Hello neighbors, this is Caroline and I'm back with a layout called All the Things. So back in November we had a snowstorm and I was headed out and I stopped and at this point we probably had about three inches and I took my phone and I literally stuck it down in the snow and took the picture with the lens like just barely above the snow line and uh, the leaves were on top of the snow. This was a really interesting snow because the leaves hadn't fa finished falling off the trees. So, um, you know, every tree had this little sprinkle, a spattering of leaves at the base of it that were yellow or orange or uh, brown or red. And it was just, this is not something I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this before. And it was really pretty. Um, so I just, and I really love this picture. Like this isn't the best print of it. I think on my phone, it's really gorgeous. Um, but the printout of it just unfortunately doesn't do it justice. However, I did feel that like, I love this picture specialness pressure that you get when you've got a picture that you, you really like. Does that make sense? I mean, I know that we all have that. It's kind of silly to have it of a tree, but I did. I wanted to do this picture justice. Um, so I, and as such, because I felt that pressure, I just don't feel like I lived up to it. So I'm not in love with this layout per se. Um, I use the title, um, all the things from Ashley Horton's The Cut Shop. I just, I really like her shop and I've been spelunking around it and finding excuses to use things. I probably should have journaled more about the fact that the snow is something with the leaves and blah, blah, blah. is not something I see all that often. But instead, I did a thing about all the things that I love about snow. And it's funny because <laughs> it, some of the things look really negative, but I don't mean to be, mean them to be negative. Like one of them is um, snow is dangerous. And because it's dangerous, it, it, appreci it increases our appreciation. Oh my goodness, I got home safely. I'm so glad that I don't have to go out today. I think that because of a little bit of that danger, it causes us to pause and reflect on some positive things. But I think if I don't explain it that way, a person reading the journaling would just go, she really likes snow. I do. I really, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so anyway, I've got a couple of different paragraphs about things that I love about snow. Um, one of the things that I really had an issue with this on this layout is I couldn't find the right papers and color schemes. I don't know what the problem was, but um, I had chosen a couple of different things and I really like the gray just because, you know, I would like to say that, that blue, I think this is funny because I walked away and then the weekend came and things got busy and um, I just, I, I'm coming back to this and I'm going, I don't like the direction that this was going and I'm not certain I want to do it. But I had um, kind of teal blues and grays and it wasn't working for me. And I had to come back to this and go, how can I, I need to do something. It's trying too hard. The balance is off. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with um, clean layouts, but this didn't feel clean it just felt like it was missing the mark. So it wasn't interesting, but it also wasn't clean. So I think my biggest frustration was um, the colors that I'm working with. And as soon as I put the tree on that blue ombre paper, I started to feel better about that. And this paper is causing me problems. I like this paper, but I don't like it with the other paper. Those two blues aren't working together. Um, and I think that the one on top is ultimately the problem. And I need something that's not so clashy with these two blues. Um, I've journaled on vellum, which I thought was going to be a good idea. And I'm just not sold on it. You saw me spritz the uh, Mr. Huey's, actually it was October afternoon this, this time into an old plate and then used some, I think they were Studio Calico. They came in a Studio Calico's uh, like monthly kit club thing last summer. And that's what the stamps are in the background. <sighs> not in love with that, but sometimes, you know, you just got to say, this is what I did and I'm going to run with it. I'm not going to overanalyze things. Although I did walk away for a couple of minutes. And one of the things that I thought was, you know, Sometimes when you watch somebody's videos and they're stamping and you, they start out and they do something, they don't ever just stop at one step. So maybe I need to go back and add some more stuff to the back. But here's the funny thing. So I took my little wax paper trip trick and I'm just smudging on little pieces of blue, just trying to be a little bit more conservative. Um, and I don't know that I love the way this looks, but the funny thing is, is once you get it on the page, it becomes a part of the background. I don't 
think it <laughs> really ultimately matters. Like it sucked up some space and it took away the harshness of the white without um, calling away too much attention. I am still holding on to that one piece of paper that I know is causing me issues. The other thing is the balance. Where does this square go? Does it go at the top? Does it go at the bottom? Where am I going to end up putting it? And the other thing that I had issues with is I didn't talk about those leaves on the top of the snow and how much I love that. So what I just did when I was not when I walked away for a second, there was nothing there, is I printed out some journaling and you can see just two lines at the bottom where I kind of explain and talk about why this was a particularly special snow and why this picture of these, um, this tree, these leaves are being scrapbooked. And I don't, you know, I don't do a whole lot of inanimate objects. I don't think, unless there's a, like a story behind them, this has a story behind it. All right. So I'm finally recognizing that part of my issue is that top left square, and I'm trying to find some other papers to deal with it. So I decided to go with this and I feel a little bit better about the gray and the blue and that those are happy hands. Um, and then I decide that it's not popping because of the white polka dots. So I go over and I cut it again in black. I wanted to mention this this black thing that I'm putting things into. My daughter made this in art class and she gave it to me for Christmas. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this? And I'll need to take a picture of it and put it on Instagram or something. But it's this like coil clay pot. And, you know, I ran it underwater to see if I could use it as a pot or you cannot. Like the thing leaks like a sieve. And I thought, oh, I know. I'll use it on my scrapbooking to catch all my little scraps. And I really love it. I just think it's really cool that Molly made this for me. And it was such a surprise on Christmas morning that. Um, it's just going to make me smile every time I pick it up. So I'm super happy about that. I started to use a glue, a zig glue pen and no glue came out. And I went, why am I doing that? I've got this super fine tip. I'll just use this. So, um, I'm really digging this particular, uh, tip thing. I haven't tried the baby bottle nipples yet. I may or may not. I don't know. You'll obviously see that when the time comes, but so far I'm not regretting this purchase. I think this has been very helpful in terms of being able to use glue in situations like this. Um, and you know, if you've got an issue of something not sticking down, those staplers come in mighty handy. So now I'm just going to, like, I'm not in love with the way it looks, but at this point I'm just going to commit a little bit, bit because I find that sometimes when you just just put it down and then you can start tucking and layering things behind and see what works. You've, you've got to take that initial commitment of, you know, how let's get this down and then how can I spruce it up? Otherwise you'll just sit there and not make any decisions whatsoever. And it, I don't know, it just doesn't work. So usually by the time I decide to just put stuff down and see what happens, you know, I may not fall in love, if I'm not already in love with where it is right now, I'm probably not going to fall in love with my layout. Um, but that said, um, I will certainly like it more once I get going. So I like the fact that I have this really skinny score tape. This works out really well, although I think this is hysterical. I'm very mindful about getting it underneath of that um, S, the tail and the S, but that I don't get it underneath the circle and I try to the hook and now I've got to pry it out. This score tape is really it's sticky. It's down for the long haul. And then I'm putting some more score tape on this little strip that I'm using here. And again, I'm mindful about getting it underneath the tail of the S and somehow managed to get it over top of the circle. And I still pick up that silhouette hook tool to try to figure out, or, you know, try to pry it up and it's just not going to work. Um, I just think it's funny that I'm so good at like, oh, nope, didn't learn my lesson the first time. I'm going to try it again. Um, so I'm really glad that was speeded up four times as fast because I actually gave it a couple of seconds of why isn't this working because it didn't work the last time and it's not going to work this time either so anyway um that's that some studio calico little stamped snowflakes at least i think they're studio calico pretty certain of it um and i'm gonna glue those down I go in the kitchen and grab a toothpick come back and uh I love this nori paste that I use for this, but I always put it on my fingers and now I'm like, ah, oh, the toothpick is a good idea because I don't end up with pasty fingers. Um, so yay, I might be doing that. I think it's funny. I've got different things that are on my desk. Like whenever I start these process videos, I gather things up and I'm going to try to use these. And I've got a whole bunch of things that I didn't even touch. Um, but I did pull out these little teeny tiny glass beads that I've probably had since about 2004. Um, and I've never used them. Well, yeah, I don't remember ever using them. 
and I'm just using this teeny tiny tip on this uh, glue bottle to put little dots of glue down and push them in. And so far they're staying, you know, granted it's only been four hours since I did this, but they are, they did stay. Um, and obviously I had to take off my glasses so I could see detail. So I wear glasses, contacts mostly, but on days that I'm with a scrapbook, I'll pop out my contacts and put my glasses on. Uh, but when I do the really detailed stuff, I actually take my glasses off because I have better vision uh, with no glasses if I just get a little bit closer. So you ever see my head in there? It's because I'm, I couldn't manage to get everything to focus. And you can't really see the little glass beads here in this shot, but it does show up on the page. You will see them in the close-up shots. They are uh, kind of a blue and a clear and a silver, and I think they end up being kind of pretty. So I'm just got a little tag that I'm going to use and uh, try to weigh it down. Ended up having to put my phone on top of it so that I could tie the little knot. I didn't want the top, the knot to be at the top of the little thing. I wanted it to be off the side, so I wanted the tag to be, you know, held steady. So I pulled out this um, this bear tree for a layout that I did recently. The one, um, what were the wonky clouds from? I can't remember what I called it something about beauty, he sees beauty, uh, and I didn't use it. And I'm like, I, when am I going to use this? And it just seemed like this is really perfect. It does have these um, little colored leaves that are on it. And I thought then since that was a critical part of the story, the fact that the leaves were still on the trees, um, this would be a good time. Plus I'm using it to hold down the, um, the vellum because it was kind of flying up and I didn't have a way of anchoring it down. And then I decided I'm going to do a photo corner and oops, yeah, you can still see the back on that Caroline. So um, I cut off the bottom of it and I slide it back in, but I didn't notch the little section underneath and that bugged me. So I take a second and notch out that bottom piece and it takes a little bit of finagling, but I get it on there and ultimately I like the way it works and more than that I like the functionality the fact that it is holding that vellum down and flat so it works out pretty well. So some still shots. Um, it's wintry. Like I said I'm not totally in love but I think my bigger issue is I don't think I did it justice but I love the title. I think that's really cool. I love the the cut shop over at Etsy. Those beads I think came out really really nicely. Um, and then the flare I think is coming up next maybe. Yep. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.